<laughs> okay, Shane and I are here at Lowe's. We're trying to figure out what we're going to get for the accent wall. Um, I don't really know what we're going to go with yet. I got some of the brick in the cart, but I don't know if that's what we're going to go with or not. I don't know. I may just do one side of the wall and see what looks best. And then if I like it, come back. I don't know. I'm kind of very indecisive right now. But what I am not indecisive about is that we're using pine for our beams because our beams have to be a little bit smaller, which I'm a little odd about, but we're going to make it work. Pine is really expensive. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me Google what my stain choice will look like on regular, not pine wood, because pine is for rich people. <laughs> like home alone, parents, house, rich people. Okay, well apparently all wood is for rich people because there's only a $4 difference for like the white wood. There's been a significant increase in wood prices just like within the last few months. Snap. And I'm not going over budget for nothing. Well, ask yourself though, I mean, $4 difference, is it going to really matter to you to have what you want that's going to go with your stain? You look like a lumberjack right now. Do I? Uh huh. Is that a good thing? Yeah. I ain't never had a thing for lumberjacks. You never seen me chop wood. Tell you what, you ever seen me chop wood? Oh look, even doing the lean. <laughs> we gotta figure out what we're doing. This is what I got in the cart so far. Can't ever go wrong with that and I really like that. I was wanting to try something different in the new house, but one of you guys were like, Marina, just go with what you like, go with what you know you like, and I know I like this. Shane and I are in the middle of our first fight. During a Lowe's trip, we at least have five of these and it somehow always ends up in the wood aisle. Most specifically the pine aisle. It's something in the air, the sawdust. You know what's in the air? It's you changing stuff in the middle of I having an established, no, I for almost a month, it has been, a <laughs> you know, almost a month, it has been a no. beam and a beam. And all of a sudden, we get here and she says it's going to be a beam, beam, beam. First, lose the tone. No. Secondly, I'm, I'm going to leave you some Before time. we left the house, I'm about to call Sam. And before we left the I'm house, call. I'm going to call him. It was yeah. stand up beam, up beam. Stand at me. In the doorway. No. I even said that. No, you didn't. I did. did. Well, I didn't hear it. Well, that's not my fault. You didn't even catch it. Yeah, that's not my fault. You didn't double check and make sure I heard it. Boom. Boom. No. Okay, so, so we're trying to figure out the cheapest wood. Well, I mean, it's which is cheap. white wood, but Smooth it's still looking. not cheap. It's thirteen dollars a piece, and we need six pieces, which goes over budget. We're not even looking at the top thing yet. You're already spending eighty dollars. So I need to move the budget around a little bit and kind of figure out what I need to do. Yeah. I need to move around the budget a little bit. I'm already here at Lowe's and I don't have any of my mind made up and I don't have any plan and I literally don't even know what stain I'm going to walk out of here with yet. Shane's back there calculating. What? I said you're back there calculating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one side of the wall and see if I even want the brick in there. See if the brick is even doing it for me in this house. And if it is, then we'll continue it. If it's not, I'm not gonna waste more money and buy all of the brick and do the whole entire wall. If it's not something I'm 100% sure on. Also, it'll help the budget. So I'm gonna do one side of the wall and see if I like it. And if I do, then I'll run with it. And if I don't, then it'll be less lost, less money lost, and I can if go with thought, something else. If you thought this was expensive, be thankful you're not building out of oak. I know. I look down there just now, and I walk this way. Fifty. Look at this. This is the process. Okay. That's let me let me compare water. the process for y'all. You've got sixty-one dollars here this for that one. This is premium palm. Look at these. Fifteen, twenty-one, thirty-nine, twenty-seven, fifty-five, sixty-one. Over here at the Whitewood, you've got nineteen, sixteen, ten, thirteen. But you come on down here, you've got 43, 38, 28, 22, and then down here you have $80. $80. And that is what? $80 for oak. Wow. This is, oh, you're okay? No. Oh. Shane. 
Look how much these are marked down on clearance. 13 bucks was 55. What? And then over here it was 55, 17 bucks for the six foot, 10 inch. And then this one is 71 inch, nine inch. Toothpick. They just give lessons to everybody. Oh, he's really. <laughs> We are home. Let me just say how weird it is to walk out of Lowe's with a stain that is not Jacobian. So weird. I mentioned in Lowe's that we were gonna do one side of the wall. I've been filming a little bit since the start of this project, just clips here and there. What originally got us on this wall is because when we took the left side of the wall down, there was no beams. Originally, if you remember, at the beginning of buying the house in the thought process on the renovations, I was planning to have a contractor come in and knock this wall down completely and replace it with like a load bearing beam system. It was gonna take me forever to get that done though because saving, I, it's gonna be a thick envelope. <laughs> so if you remember, we took the panels off, the drywall panels off so that a contractor could easily get in there and kind of see what they're working with, right? On the right side, there's beams. On the left side, there's no beams. I'm not gonna mess with anything except except for the drywall. We're just bringing the drywall down and then add in a decorative little beams around the opening. Instead of going and getting a big contractor team and going with all of that stuff and everything that comes along with that stuff, I'm just going to do it this way. It's more affordable and realistic for me right now. And it's not difficult. We're just gonna take the drywall down and then kind of frame it out with like decorative cosmetic beam work. These are the old screws that are going halfway from the bottom, uh, from down here up, they're not screwed in anything. I don't even know what it, its intentions were, but all of them are screwed up like this. So this is very interesting. Wasn't expecting to find that back here. I don't quite know if this has been worked on or not. I really have no idea. So we're kind of just running with what we have and making it work. Shane's taking an extra J box. If you hear water running in the background, don't worry, it's just the toilet. Shane's taking an extra J box that we have and he's using it as sort of a stencil to cut out an area in this brick wall so that we have the outlet because there's an outlet in this wall that this is going up on. He's scoring it with the box cutter because this wall surprisingly is pretty thin. It's not as thin as some of the already put together walls that you can find at Lowe's in the area that this is found in but it is pretty thin. So he scored it out with a box cutter. You actually can cut this with a box cutter if you're careful, but we just kind of made a diagram here and scored it and then went in with Shane's handy dandy trusty saw. Here's my handy dandy little saw. This thing comes in handy. I'll try to make it just a little more shallow so I can kind of control it a little bit better. Maybe a little bit, because I don't think that's deep enough. We haven't always had this saw, and that's a shame. I wish we had have had this saw our whole DIY journey, but we didn't. This thing makes stuff so easy. If you need to get in tight corners and angles that a big old hawking saw can't, then this thing comes in handy. It, you can just put it on little areas. It's shallow, it's deep, it's whatever you need it to be. You can change the settings on it. We added the outlet in. We had old timey outlets, like the big thick square looking outlets that you press up and down on. We added a more up to date one, but you know, it's cheap y'all know i always have a blast with this stuff when this stuff comes on scene you know the bun goes up stuff's about to go down okay so i'm the joint compound queen when it comes to joint compound scotch tape and fake bricks <laughs> but joint compound and german schmearing I'm, I'm not, I don't have a whole lot of experience in. I did it in my girl's room, if y'all remember that. The beginning of this year, actually, January, I think it was my first video of the year. We redid the girl's bedroom. I mean, completely redid it. Whole daggone hour long video. Custom beds and everything. And I added one of these walls, these panels, these 
fake brick panels into their room and they loved it and it looks so pretty i was talking to one of my daughters about possibly doing this in here and she said oh mama she said i was excited for whatever you were going to do she said but i was so hoping you'd bring the brick to this house and i was like girl now you know i gotta do it <laughs> it was a hit with them and it did look so pretty in their room they've asked me to redo their room they've asked me to do it identical to the old one i told them i was like we, we can do that or you guys can think of some new things to bring into it but keep that vibe you know i'm nervous about german schmearing i did it in the girls room I'm pretty sure i can do it again i was about to say you can't mess it up you can mess it up i can mess up anything but the premise of it I'm not a professional, but the, I think it was called German Schmearing. It might be English Schmearing. Is it German Schmearing? I think it is German Schmearing. The premise of it is usually, usually you do it with like a mortar water wash where you take some mortar. Thank you, this is a new one. I didn't have to buy one of these. Shane had one in his work shed. Usually when people German Schmear, they do a mix of light set mortar and they mix it with water and then they kind of smear it on there and do that but you can do it this way and in my opinion this is the easier way to do it i don't know if it's cheaper but it's easier i would think it would be cheaper because i i think mortar's kind of pricey is it i don't know i'm not gonna say it is or it isn't because i have no idea and i don't talk about things i'm ignorant about so <laughs> but i do like doing it this way it's the only way i have done it i've never done the mortar route and with this you just take some and you put it on here and then you work from that area until you want to add more so you're going to have heavier coated areas and some lighter coated areas and that's kind of what the look goes for i try to keep my heavier coated areas a little bit lighter i don't like real real thick german schmearing i like to see the brick and i like to see quite a bit of the brick so i'll have little patches where it looks like you know there's a whole lot but I'll go back with a wet sponge or a wet rag and wash it down to even lighten it up even more. But that's the look I like. I like it to be German smeared, be white, but I like a lot of the brick to show through. I do try to make sure that the grouts, because these are dark grouts in these panels from Lowe's, uh, I try to make sure that the grouts are all covered. It's really easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And it doesn't take very long either. So I'm going to start slapping this stuff on there and... Lord Jesus, help me preferably not mess it up. Did you just say amen? You just said amen. Were you praying? Hey, I can't get this open. Use your scraper. <clears throat> oh, can I use my scraper? Yeah. No. Can you open this for me? Bring it here. No, because now you sighed and you used that tone, so now I gotta do it or die. You, you're full of tones today. Got it. Scoop it up. If you've never used this stuff, it's really fun. It's kind of like clay. Um, that's a little bit too much. It's like, um, what? Sour, it, it get, it's, it's giving sour cream. The joint compound. It's giving sour cream. It don't smell like sour cream. I'm not going to try it, but I can back here to you. It don't taste like sour cream don't either. Don't you do it. But it's giving that vibe. That's All right. So we're doing some thick over here. Okay. So we're doing a thick coat right here. We're going to take it all the way over here. If you're wondering why this part of, oh, you can't see it. This part of the beam is not showing. It's because that's where the, the two by four is because that's where the beam's going. So got it like this. See how heavy that is? I don't like it like that. So we're going to go through scrape it like that and then just continue to work from that area until you basically have no more to work with am i the bob ross of... i was about to say this is just like bob ross <laughs> i'm the bob ross of german schmearing right now oh i hope i have enough yeah <laughs> um, Step back, kind of figure out what you want. 
Come back. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I really, 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 really want. I want to really try to make this stuff stretch because it is not in the budget for another $10 bucket. A tin bucket tour. A tin bucket tour. Gilligan. And his wife. The skipper. The Moody Star. And the Professor wife. and Mary Ann. The Moody Star. The Professor and Mary Ann. Here on Gilligan's It works way better with a smaller spatula, but this is all I had, so this is what I'm using. have enough of this to do this whole wall. I have some of the pink that dries white in the shed. I just, I don't want to use that unless I actually have to. So what I'm doing is I'm using the excess that I can't get off of the scraper any other way. And I'm going ahead and I'm filling in the grout here so that maybe it'll be easier. It's, it won't be like, I don't, I don't know. If you want my honesty, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't, I'm talking over here right now. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it can't hurt. So I'm filling in this area right here and then seeing if I can go in with a lighter coat of joint compound so that I can stretch it out further. Because um, like I said, there's, there's nothing left in my envelope. Like if I get anything else, it's got to be pulled from a different envelope. And I don't do that. So... We're working with what we got here. And just seeing, playing around. Seeing what we can do. Might not be able to do nothing. Might be a waste of time to do this. Maybe just finger painting, I don't know, but we'll see.
I'm being very conservative with this stuff, but it's still not reaching the whole wall. So I'm gonna use the pink <laughs> that I have out in the shed and hope the advertising didn't lie and it actually draws white. Or we're gonna have like Pepto-Bismol <laughs> bricks up in here. Before I do that though, you can kind of see here, it's very coated. I did go very light with it to kind of, so that I had a lot, I was trying to conserve as much as possible. I'm gonna go in though, cause it's still too white for my liking. I'm going to go in and I'm going to just, with a wet cloth or sponge, probably cloth, I'm going to just wipe down some areas um, just to lighten up the joint compound a little bit and like kind of remove some of it. I have a wet scrub down a sponge. Preferably you wouldn't use a nice precious sponge like this. <laughs> These are the bomb.com, but it's all I have so I'm going to grip my teeth and, and use it. I have two more unused ones in there. I can't find the one buried in the dirty dishes. I was gonna use that one. I was just gonna pray over it and sanctify it, but I couldn't find it, so I'm just gonna use this one. And then, oh. Tell me I didn't waste this sponge for nothing. I got Pampers wipes now. <laughs> Maybe I forgot and I just need to wait until it dries because this is not working out. I'm just moving it around at this point. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to wipe it, wipe it off. Before I go doing the rest of the top remainder with that pink uh, joint compound, I'm going to try sanding this off. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to try using my sponge. So this is dry now. Let's see what that does. Let's see what that does. It was all bent to hang. Yes, this is going to work.
So there's no rest. I got I gotta go feed some chickens, but it's the morning, and uh, I didn't feel like changing my pants yet. So I've got my my lumberjack farmer attire on, but I got my Naruto jams on. <laughs> taco shell and now I'm hungry I'm just gonna sand off some areas that are not still not uh, light enough I'm gonna sand off some of those areas with this just not with my sander because it would make a mess in here just hand sand it with one of these rotary sander attachment things Very watery. Ooh, some of it is really hard, Shane. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
This stuff has some very watery red dye in it. So here's the hoping that I don't, that it doesn't dye my hands pink. That would be a look. And then also, let's take a moment of silence for this wall in case it does stay. You ruined my wall? Pink. And I'm coming after you. Um, I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. It, it, oh, <laughs> I don't like no. this. I don't like this at all. I'm just placing some. A little bit of everywhere. Hey, you know what? You know what be crazy? Is if it didn't turn white and it stayed pink. Uh -huh. But this became like the new trend. And everybody has like a, a white and pink wall. Hey, that stuff don't move around. Uh -oh. oh no. No. I'm going to Lowe's today, Anna. No, I don't have nothing in the envelope. There's nothing to pull from. I'm going to have to take some feet pictures. You'll have to take some feet pictures. Of me. We ain't doing it with your feet. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> oh. You're, you're dropping stuff on the floor. Well, Shane, I'm trying to work fast because this stuff, I, it's not like no, the other. I'm coming after you. I told you I would come after you. I'm coming after you. John Wick style. This is not like the other stuff. Oh, this is not good. It's crusted on here, so like it's not getting a good scrape effect. It's already turning white, though. Yeah, I know. That's good. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I need a better scraper. I thought I had a small one. I don't know what happened to it. It smells like tuna. Please, please, please dry white. It's, well, I mean, it's turned white. The parts that you scraped. I'm a Barbie girl living I mean, in my own this was world. the year of Barbenheimer. I you mean, know what I'm so tempted to do? Make it pink? Make the girls break pink. I'm not going to lie, that'd be kind of cool. Would it not? I may seriously try that. And then in the boys' room, make it black. Ooh. Yeah, it's turning white. It is? Yeah, I think as long as you scrape it thin, it will turn white a lot quicker. If you leave it thick, we know this from experience, then it's going to take forever. My hand's sticking together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm doing tic-tac-toe. Yeah. If you're going to smooth that out. I'm trying, Shane. Do I have a spatula in my utensil wow. container? Ooh, that's a big old clump. My metal icing sprayer, spreader. Oh, okay. This. Oh, 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 oh. Hold that for a second. You're gonna get your hands dirty, it's project. I don't want to. It actually kind of looks like those things that they use to spread the mortar on real bricks. I don't know if I like it yet, or if it's just fun. I don't know if it's doing a good job, or if it's just fun to do. And that's a, that's a thick piece. That's what I say. Hey. Yeah. Quit. Sorry. I wouldn't have had to use paint. So I told you guys we're not touching these studs. We're just going to encase them kind of with faux faux and beams, you know, just to kind of conceal them. Similar to how we made the beams on the porch. Yeah, similar to how we made the beams on the porch. Just kind of wrap, put a wrap on it. We're just putting a wrap around it. That way they're still there. Cause when we brought down the drywall, obviously they were attached to this stud right here and then the one up top and we're not touching those. So we're just going to wrap them with, a, with wood to make it look like a faux beam and kind of 
um, trim out that opening sort of thing. We're using extra drywall as sort of shim so that when we put the piece of wood up against it, it'll be even with the other side because the other side has drywall on it and brick on it. I'm gonna use this sustainable wood filler right here. I need this big old tub because I'm always using wood filler. I hate using wood filler though because I'm not very good at it. Um, I have a little bit of experience with it. The best I ever did with wood filler was the kitchen table that we made over and I had to literally go back and redo the entire project. Y'all saw that in that video. <laughs> I had to go back and do the entire project over because I didn't do the wood filler right the first time. So I kind of learned lessons with that project. Still not very good at it, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Sustainable wood filler fills cracks, gauges, and hole gouges, gouges, and holes. Accepts all stains and paints. That's sort of a lie. You really gotta sand it down in order for it not to look funny. Most of the time I use my finger because it's just easier and you kind of have to pat it into the cracks if the cracks are a little bit wider than like a little tiny crack. You have to really pack it in there. I try not to get a bunch around the outside of the crack because sanding it down is a pain in the butt and it will not look right if you stain over it. So I try to get at least amount that I possibly can in and around the cracks um, so that it doesn't look funny when I go to stain. Sometimes it's inevitable. Sometimes it always looks funny. All of them say stainable, but while they may be stainable, that doesn't mean that they look right stained. <laughs> so I just try to get the least amount on there as possible. So when I go in to sand it, I can sand a majority of it away. We got pink bricks. <laughs> doesn't dry white. It white, dries. White, 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 white. It has a pink tint to it. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Nothing right now. Nothing today because I ain't got nothing in the budget. How many times am I going to say that this this video. Dang, Marina. What? You jinxed it yesterday. You were talking about, you know what I'd really like to do in the girls' room? I'd mm. really like to paint their rooms pink. This is your fault. Man, I really do have a gift of speaking things into existence, huh? So, nothing's getting done about this in this video. You good? Oh. Y'all are gonna get after shots with, with paint bricks. It will get fixed, just know that. Um, that'll have to be something. Next week, we're doing a crap ton of things all over the house in next week's mobile mission. What are we doing next Monday. week? <laughs> I what are we doing anything. next week? You ever talk about this with me? <laughs> What are we doing next week? We're doing a lot of things around the house. This will be um, one of those things, hopefully. Baseboards. Um, no, we're not doing baseboards. Okay. Ba what is your problem with the baseboards? Shane's been wanting to do baseboards for weeks now, and I keep telling him, Shane, the walls have to be done before you put up baseboards. The walls, the battens haven't been taken down. The 90s churros well, haven't been that? taken down. The gaps haven't been filled. And se the seams haven't been taken care whose of. Whose fault is that? You, you, it hasn't been painted. Yep. Whose you fault cannot is that? put up baseboards without finished walls. You, you know what? You have a ladder. But I'll we're not doing that next week. That. Who is this? Oh, look at this. Um, we're not doing that <laughs> next week. We're doing a bunch of things, though. A bunch of things. In the next Mobile Mention Monday video, this will be one of those. I have to figure out how I'm going to fix it. No, no, you can't paint it because it's literally... Yeah. Like, look how, look at all that. Like, I would have to go over every single detail. I don't know what I'm going to do. You Unless I'm just going to have shoulder. to. I do got a chip on my <laughs> shoulder. Unless I'm just going to have to joint compound over the joint compound and then. <sighs> I don't Actually, I think this is what I think. I don't want to do I, that. I have an idea of how you can fix it. I think that you sand it and get all the lumps and stuff off there and then just go back over it with this and then, you know. Do your thing where you wipe it down and then sand it a little bit, and it yeah. should look back. I should have just went over the budget, but I never go over the budget. Like I'm, I take pride in not going over the budget. I will stop a daggone makeover in its tracks is where I go over the budget. It's true. This is why they call her Budget Betty. Nobody calls me Budget Betty. <laughs> well, all right. Hands up if you want to start referring to her as Budget Betty. We're not Budget Betty. Put it in the comments if you want to start no, referring to her as Budget Betty. No, don't put that in the comments. Budget okay. Betty. Oh, I'll be building Beavis, and you'll be Budget <laughs> Betty. The pink drying white joint compound did not work, as intended. I'm sanding where I put the wood filler in it, but it's really hard with the way that these are built. You see up there at the top at the left, Shane had to make a notch out of the wood, so it's kind of like Legos put together. It was really difficult to wood fill and then sand the wood filler. This is special walnut. The right side is stained, the left side is not. Can you tell? It looks like I just wet wood. Why is that not as dark?
thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning or not, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.